Welcome to the Steve Ames Show with guitarist Sandy Renda, pianist Mike Yanuzzi, and my special guests, Bill Turner and Blue Smoke, Walt Gollander and Josephine Shenman. And now, on with the show. say bye-bye to the blues and hello to Springfield, New Jersey, where we tape our show at the West 22 Diner right here. <laughs> With the two mighty musicians at the guitar, Sandy Renda. <laughs> and at the keyboard, Mike Yanuzzi. Two of the most prolific songwriters were Jimmy McHugh and Dorothy Fields. Jimmy McHugh wrote the music, Dorothy Fields wrote the lyrics, and they gave us many great standards, including this one from the Broadway show International Review. I know why I've waited, know why I've been blue. Exactly like you. Why should we spend money on a show or two? No one does those love scenes exactly like you. You make me feel so grand. I want to hand the world to you. You seem to understand each foolish little scheme I'm scheming, dream I'm me to be true. She meant me for someone exactly like you. Sandy Renda, what's on the musical menu tonight? Here's a great swinging one by the great Cole Porter. I love Paris. Let's hear it for Sandy and Mike. <laughs> Thank you. 
Walter. Josephine. Pleasure. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my two very good friends, talent scout Walt Gollander and TV show host Josephine Shanman. Let's hear, <laughs> let's hear it for them. Josephine, what have you been up to? Well, various art projects, but um, basically promoting, Walter's been doing a few of the Bob O'Brien shows, and I'm uh, putting some uh, On radio, right? On radio, but I'm putting some video productions to them so people can hear them, because they're wonderful stories of the blades of grass and the doors and wonderful thi experiences that Walter has had in his career, and uh, with the help of Dave Brigatti from The Rascals, uh, helping to commemorate some of those things. So please look for them on YouTube. Okay, you want to give out the exact uh, website? Uh, well, to Joe Shedman channel on uh, YouTube, but it would be Walt Gollander, uh, Joe, Joe Shedman, Walt Gollander, and uh, what did we put well, out? Several. <laughs> well, just uh, wait a minute, and with Dick Clark and Max Weinberg, which was another wonderful story of Walter's. Thank you. Thank I didn't you want much. to miss that. But what's that. the name of the website? Where can uh, they Joe Shedman on YouTube. Jo check with uh, Joe Shedman's channel on YouTube. Very good. Great. And Walter Gollander, I want to congratulate you on your upcoming birthday. December 14th. It's going to be your birthday. Let's hear Happy it for birthday. Walter. Happy again. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Yes, and also want to congratulate you on your recent radio broadcasts with Bob O'Brien. Mm -hmm. I heard them all, and you were very, very good. And I also want to thank you for discovering the guest for tonight's show, making his second appearance on the show with his talented band. Please do the honors of telling us about our guest. Our guest tonight is is one of the two top guitar players in New Jersey, Mr. Sandy Renda, Mr. Bill Turner. And uh, Bill has been around a long time, and I met him at the Blue Ribbon in what town? Hillside. And uh, what are we? what's famous about Hillside? Freddie Wensler's Blue Ribbon Inn. That's my hometown, That's Hillside. why I said that. That's where you met Bill. How long yes, ago would you say you met going him? Going back, I, I'd say, uh, what year was that? Let me think. The 70s or 80s, probably. No, it was 19, in the 80s. In the 80s, that's We were right. doing the Irwin Levine Yellow Ribbon Roundup. Oh, that's yes. right. Yes, at the, we started there at the Blue Ribbon Inn in honor of Irwin's great success. success. Yellow and Ribbon. And this is the 40th year anniversary of Tie a Yellow Ribbon Roundup. That's the right, the song Tie a Yellow wow. Ribbon. How many people knew that? Tree was written in 1973 and recorded yeah. by Tony Orlando and Dawn. But back to Bill Turner and Blue Smoke, and you're going to hear them perform their first number right now. Thanks to Walt Gollander having him on the show. Please welcome Bill Turner and Blue Smoke. Bill Turner, Blue wow. Smoke, direct Woo. from Florida. <laughs> Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make her the cutest that I've ever seen. Give her the word that I'm not a rover. And let her know my roving days are over. Mr. Sandman, someone to hold. Must be too peachy before we're too old. So please turn on your magic beam. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Give her a long heart like Holly 
Georgie And lots of long blonde hair like Britney Spears, Mr. Sandman I'm so alone, don't have nobody to call my own So please turn on your magic beam Mr. Sandman, bring me, please, please, please Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream Thank you, friends. Let me introduce the Blue Smoke Band to you one by one. Over here on the electric five-string bass, Mr. Eric Decay. <laughs> on the drums, Ludwig von Beethoven. And on the keyboards, Mr. Joel Roy. My name is Bill Turner. Bill Turner! Great being back. Welcome Good back you. to the show, and thanks again, Walter, for discovering my, Bill for the show. My pleasure. My pleasure, Steve Ames. Bill, I love that number, Mr. Sandman. It's been a favorite of mine for a long time. Now, you've been performing for a long time. When did you start? Uh, I started playing guitar uh, when I was eight years old. Uh, uh, the band Blue Smoke has been together. It'll be 40, 42 years uh, this year. 42 years, and how many original members still with you? Me and the bass player. Okay, very good, very good. The bass player we saw tonight. We're the founding forefathers, but right. we're down to two fathers now. <laughs> right, right, that's very good. So you began as a singer and guitarist, right? Well, yeah, yeah. I, I was playing bluegrass and country music most of the time. I just kind of expanded a little bit as the years went on. And how did you get into classic rock and roll? Uh, well, like I said, I, had, I, started, I wanted to work more, and I started learning different kinds of uh, music, and... I, there's stuff that we got hired to, uh, to play, and naturally we had to build our repertoire, so we just started expanding outward. Right, and you also played with Bill Haley later in his career well, yeah, and I the was, Comets. That's right. That was uh, in the in the mid '70s. Not the original Comets, who were in the '50s, but you were in the. Uh, oh no! Wait, hold on now. Hold yeah. on. Oh, there's, they were the originals. That. No, no, no. Okay. It's we're uh, we're getting to that. Okay. In 1987, I got the original 1955 Comets back together again. And they stayed together another 25 years. And the guys who never got to go to Europe from that original band eventually got to go to Europe. That's wonderful. Now, Bill Haley was still alive when you had the reunion uh, together? Uh, no, no. He passed away in 1981. When I put the original comments back together, that was October of 1987 for the Philadelphia Music Awards, the first annual Philadelphia Music Awards, which Dick Clark himself showed up for. That's amazing. And these were all the original members of the Comets together yes, indeed. in 1987. The original, guys, the original guys who were on the first few records, uh, except for the guitar player who passed away uh, before Rock Around the Clock became a hit. But the fellow who replaced him was there, who today is 92, and... Retired in a nursing home, taking it easy. Is he the only one of the Bill Haley Comets still left? No, there's the original drummer um, and the original sax player. And what are their and names? And the original bass player. Give us the names of these original Al Rex people. was on stand-up bass. Dick Pacelli was on the drums. And uh, Franny Beecher was on the guitar. Joe D'Ambrosio was the sax player. That's wonderful. That's really wonderful. So you've traveled all over the country. Well, I've been all over the world. All with, over the with world. Bill Haley. I never, <laughs> I never had a chance to go to Florida until recently with Bill Haley Jr. Right. You were just back from Florida. How did that go? That went, that went great. It was a festival called the Exponica Festival, which was a Latin American festival. There's only two American bands on there, and we were one of them. I played steel guitar with Bill Haley Jr. That's very exciting. I'm so glad to hear that. Now, you brought along a book you want to show the folks. Tell us about that. Well, this book came out uh, a couple of years ago. It was originally in German called Bill Haley, uh, des, um Vater des Rock and Roll in German, written by Otto Fuchs from Austria. And I had gotten the job of being the English language editor. So I transliterated the book. I didn't translate it because I'm not German speaking, but they rendered it in a kind of English, and I had to read it and uh, rectify it and justify it and make it readable into uh, Now, this is the biography English. of Bill Haley? This is probably the, the most exhaustive biography of Bill Haley ever written. That's amazing. And Walt Gollander, remember the time we had the co-writer of the song Rock Around the Clock on our show? You took the words out of my guitar. That was, was thanks to you. You know, everything is thanks to me sometimes. Sometimes. No, I was going to say it was a coincidence. Uh, I, I invited uh, James Myers and Joey Wells 
up to do your show in 1991, was Correct, it Correct, 1991. In the old studio? That was our first year, so we interviewed the co-writer of Rock Around the Clock. And the, the publisher. Well, who's the publisher, And the publisher. Actually. Most the of publisher. the money, most of the guilt. Well, that's a good thing. That's a good <laughs> thing. Now, you're going to do a song now that was introduced by one of my favorites, Tennessee Ernie Ford. Well, it was written by one of my favorites, Merle Travis. Very good. And I remember the song when I was riding in my father's Oldsmobile. I had to be about five years old, and this song used to come on, and boy, that... that Piping Refrain was probably the biggest hit that a, uh, um, a bass clarinet was ever used on. And uh, we're going to kind of duplicate that uh, through modern electronics, but it's 16 tons. We're Song looking forward mine. to hearing it. Thank you, Walter Gollander. And thank you, Bill Turner and Blue Smoke. And let's hear it for 16 Our tons. Pleasure. That's strong, you load 16 tons. I would again another day older and a deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I hold my soul to the company store. Well, I was born, born, born when the sun didn't shine. I picked up my shovel and I walked to the mine. I load 16 tons. Number nine cold and the strong boss said, Well, bless my soul, he loaded sixteen tons. I would he again another day older and a deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I hold my soul to the company store. Well, I was born, 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 and it was drizzling rain. White man trouble on my middle. I was raised in the cane brick by an old mama line. Ain't no high tone woman making me walk with a line. You know, it's 16 tons. I'm born again. I know the day older and the deeper in debt. See, Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I hold my soul to the company store. Well, if you see me coming, you better step aside. A lot of men didn't, a lot of men died. One fist of iron, the other one steel. If the left one don't get you, the right one will. You load 16 tons, I hold you again. Another day older and a deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I hold my soul. To the company store. Right now, a centennial tribute to one of my favorite singers, Tony Martin, who was born 100 years ago on December 25th, 1913, in Oakland, California. His real name was Alvin Morris. But as Tony Martin, he became one of the top recording stars of the 1940s and 1950s with many hits, including I Get Ideas and There's No Tomorrow. Tony Martin also appeared in many movie musicals, and here's a song he introduced in the 20th Century Fox film, Sing Baby Sing, starring Alice Faye, Tony's first wife. The song was written by Richard Whiting and Walter Bullock. let you go how's everything in heaven I'd like to know why did you trade heaven for all these earthly things where did you hide your halo where did you lose your wings have they missed you can you get back in if I kissed you, 
Would it be a sin? I am only human, but you are so divine. When did you leave heaven? Angel mine, have they missed you? Can you get back in? If I kissed you, would it be a sin? I am only human, but you are so divine. When did you leave heaven? Tony Martin's other 20th Century Fox films include Ali Baba Goes to Town with Eddie Cantor and Kentucky Moonshine with the Ritz Brothers. In 1941, Tony appeared in two films for MGM, The Big Store with the Marx Brothers and Ziegfeld Girl, where he serenaded Hedy Lamarr, Lana Turner, and Judy Garland. Here's a song Tony introduced in the 20th Century Fox film, Poor Little Rich Girl, starring Shirley Temple. The song was written by Matt Gordon and Harry Revel. Every street I walk on becomes a lover's lane when I'm with you. I can see the sun though we're out in the rain when I'm with you. To lose you would be tragic. Here is my heart unfurled. You have that certain magic. You're the seven wonders of the world. Snow is on the ground. Leaves are on the trees when I'm with you. Flowers sing a love song. There's music in the breeze when I'm with you. Please let me make this confession. You are my magnificent obsession. The world is all in rhyme, lovely one when I'm with you. But the leaves are on the trees when I'm with you. Flowers sing a love song. There's music in the breeze when I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Please let me make this confession. You are my magnificent obsession. The world is all in rhyme. Lovely one when I'm with you. I had the pleasure of meeting Tony Martin twice and seeing him perform once at the Garden State Arts Center in New Jersey. The first time I met Tony was in 1989 in New York City at a meeting for the Society of Singers. The next time we met was in 1997, also in New York City at a Society of Singers event. And that's where we took this picture with Tony's lovely wife, Sid Charisse. Tony Martin and Sid Charisse were married for 60 years, and here's an autographed picture they sent me in 2004. So we close off our Tony Martin tribute with a song that Tony often sang in the nightclubs and on television, written by Gus Kahn and Isham Jones. I 
I'll see you in my dreams. I'll hold you in my dreams. Someone took you out of my arms. Still I find the thrill of your charms. Lips that once were mine. Tender eyes that shine. They will light my way tonight. I'll see you in my dreams. Good night. Thank you.